Back in the car, I finished my August P&Ls and I figured I will do a bunch of returns. Actually, just two. Success at the Targ. So I got $164 back, but I got some mosquito bites on my ankle and I spent $40 on some um, lamb and rice dog food. We're changing up the dog food. The vet recommended um, using like higher grade Purina, Purina, but I don't know what Purina and higher grade Purina is because that's they only have the one out there in Target. So anyway, I, I wanted to quickly talk about this request that I just got on TaskRabbit from a woman and she wanted me to do three things mount a carbon monoxide detector and you know what i just thought of this thing i know a lot of people that have commented on my like essential tools for furniture assembly has commented like hey you know you should get a smaller drill so it doesn't hurt your wrist with a big not a big but like with a standard size um, drill driver that I have from DeWalt. It is quite heavy. But I was just thinking like, you know, I work in a city, so I carry my tool bag everywhere. Sometimes I even have to carry my big ass extension ladder up like three, four slides, flights of stairs. And I'm not saying, I'm not complaining. It is what it is. Like some buildings don't have stairs. I get it. But I mean, some bu buildings don't have elevators. I get it. But I'm trying to state that I work in a city and parking is limited if at all and um, it's I carry most of my things um, on my back so uh, carrying two drills multiple drills is like not something I'm gonna I'm willing to do but anyway uh, so this woman also requested that I do two other things she asked me if I do appliance repair which I do not I don't know enough about certain appliances. <clears throat> I have reset like a uh, ice maker that's in a freezer, like the one we have here, you know, where the ice maker is inside. But with her issue is with a KitchenAid um, and it's one where the you have these French doors kind of thing and you open the freezer side and there's the ice bucket that, uh, that uh, fills up, but it's not dispensing from the outside. So I looked up, I looked it up, I researched it, no solution really, except for this one comment I found. And basically they said, press the two left buttons, hold it for three seconds. If it doesn't work, do it again or something. And I was really upfront about the third th thing she asked me to do, which was, which is the KitchenAid oven. The like, the screen, LCD screen that reads the time is not reading the correct time or it's not moving and um, she can't adjust it. So I'm like, well, I have absolutely no experience with that, so I can't help you there. <laughs> Sugar already ate, by the way. I know. I'm just going to get on a little tiny bit of light. Look how exciting. A two hours and 45 minute job lower the TV mount that I put up for a 65 inch TV lowered it by 10 inches so TV mounting is so simple it's just four screws it's just like the prep work kind of like painting I would think like the prep work just takes so long but anyway I also assembled a I think it was from Target one of those Target dressers Maybe it was Rubbermaid. I don't know. Not the best quality. I feel like how they packaged everything and like the paint or basically the sticker on these drawers, drawer fronts were just like not very good. So I feel like all the sides were chipped. Yeah, not. I would not recommend. Vince is taking me out to dinner. Just kidding. It was totally my idea. But I'm wearing this little necklace that my friend Ida got me. It like shakes the center you never have a reason to dress up anymore so i worked my two jobs today for a total of five hours and we're gonna have dinner quick early dinner where is it 
and then we'll come back to walk the babies. Skewers. Oh, they even come with a little Himalayan salt on the side. Mm. Bacon, tomato. Mm. Black pork sausage. Okay. I'm going to Mustard. Second round. Definitely U.S. sizes, which I'm really happy about. Mm -hmm. Make this at home. Mm -hmm. So good. Hi, I'm parked at my second job of the day. My first one was at 11 a.m. And that was to just assemble this six drawer dresser from Amazon and also to put her portable AC into the window. Uh, Cause she was like, oh, can you assemble my portable AC? And I was like, assemble it. I was like, can you send me a picture of the box? And she sent it, I'm like, there's not much to assemble there, but okay. Yeah. Anyway, I was watching my fellow tasker friend, YouTuber, Nesto Works' video, and he showed his car setup. Um, and I thought that would be a really good idea to do as well. I was just about to do it here in this random neighborhood because it's quite quiet. It's quite quiet. It's pretty quiet. And I was just going to do like a voiceover later, but. There's a lady lounging right outside our apartment, so never mind. But yeah, so I have a 2.30 job that I'm waiting for. It is going to be replacing a water filter and then adding a shower filter. So hopefully those plumbing tasks are very easy. Usually when I expect it to be easy, it's a lot more complicated. So I'm kind of feeling like a touch bit uneasy about it for some reason. slowly going through all of the videos through YouTube and uh, I've been really learning a lot. A few hours to my next drop. So I figured I get some spaghetti sauce for dinner tonight. I just got done with my four o'clock job. Oh, I think I did. So my first job was building a bunch of furniture, a nice dresser, two shoe racks, a swivel chair, I think I did talk about this. The calyx and like calyx with two sets of drawers that you screw into the little cube parts. I thought he was gonna run faster. Hi, baby boy. You need your quarter? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Okay. I just got this new apron in the mail. I ordered it from Amazon for like $18. I already tried it on for Instagram, but I'm gonna try it on again. I don't know if I like it. It's not really like a tool one, but I do like that it's longer. This one that I have that I've washed so many times because I sweat in it. This one is just so short, you know, and the pockets are big and deep. But because it's like this is where it sits when I go like this, actually, I feel like it's the same issue with the other one. I'm like leaning over and the flaps are just so big that things just fall right out and it's really dangerous and it's an issue um so i just got done with a, a one hour and 30 minute smoke detector replacement job which should not have taken that long i know 
But it was just, it just went haywire. Haywire, hey, get it? Because it's electric wire. Or one set of wires for one smoke detector was taken out by the client's family member, her dad, and for some reason, oh, his knees hurt from being on the ladder, so he stopped midway. So I didn't get to see how the existing wires are wired. She kind of showed me a picture kind of midway that he had, but that was about it. And then, uh, so I was like, okay, she had another one that she needed to replace, so I'll start with that one. I took a picture of how the existing wires are wired. This one, the neutral was wired to the red, and then the black was wired to the black. <laughs> Did the test to see the initial pushing of the test button to make sure everything is activated and I it would go off it would just keep going off it would not stop so I unplugged it long story short I rewired it with just the black to black white to white and I just kept the red <laughs> It's perfect. It's perfect. Tuesday and a Sunday burrito. For some reason, it's closed. Oh. Got these sunglasses at Target a while back. I woke up without an alarm today at 6:20. Discovered the hands-free option on Instagram. I didn't know that exists. I never use it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if this promo code is going to let you cancel because this thing says you have to do an annual subscription, which I'm not going to do. Thanks for watching. Peace.